Dear Excellencies, dear participants, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor for me to participate in such a, such a forum. Um, let me share my presentation. I started my mission on the 8th of March last year, which is very symbolic because it is International Women's Day. And at the same time, I was the last person entered the mission before the lockdown. That's why I have chosen exactly this topic. Uh, currently, I am serving as a sexual and gender-based violence advisor in the United Nations Interim Security Force for a VA. Uh, United Nations Security Council giving full attention to the pandemic uh, on the 1st of July 2020 adopted uh, United Nations Security Council Resolution 2532, which expresses grave concern about the devastating impact of the COVID-19 pandemic across the world especially in countries ravaged by armed conflicts or in post-conflict situations or affected by humanitarian crisis. It acknowledges the critical role that women are playing in COVID-19 response efforts, as well as disproportionate negative input uh, of the pandemic, notably the socioeconomic impact on women and girls, children and refugees, internally displaced persons, older persons, and persons with disabilities, and calls for concrete actions to minimize this impact and ensure the full, equal, and meaningful participation of women and youth in the development and implementation of adequate and sustainable response to the pandemic. In this picture, you can see uh, the dissemination of um, uh, facial masks, which were produced um, by local females. Uh, and we, as UNISFA, UNISFA team, together with IOM, um, we organized this project. A woman peacekeeper is able to dismantle the barriers existing in the countries with strong sex disaggregation since the local females rely on them more than on males. If a woman peacekeeper is a mother, it is much easier to assist and encourage local females' mothers, especially young mothers, to observe hygiene rules in order to prevent serious infectious diseases, including COVID-19 pandemic. Raising the awareness contributes to the health preservation of children, which means of the future generation. <clears throat> And here you can see uh, uh, one of the representative of our gender team uh, who is uh, showing the local females uh, how, what to do and how to uh, prevent uh, one of the measures, how to prevent um, COVID-19. A woman, <clears throat> Uh, as you can see from this slide, a woman given a life and pandemic is taking it away. So that's why uh, a woman peacekeeper is in strong opposition to pandemic. And this picture was taken uh, during um, uh, International Women's Day celebration uh, this year. Uh, the, film, uh, the female peacekeeper's role during the pandemic of COVID-19 time is crucial. In UNISFA, uh, with all the restrictions caused by the pandemic, we still implement the mandate. All the female peacekeepers continue applying their efforts to achieve the goals set. There are women in all the components, military, police, and civilian patrols 
to remote areas, trainings on various subjects and other activities are undertaken by them. With all the precautions, you need for female staff being a part of almost each team conducts the duties in a highly professional way. So you, here you can see uh, our representative of transport section. Actually, she is deputy chief of transport section um, who is doing her job because we're still on the patrol and she should take care of the vehicles uh, which we are driving. And me uh, with my military colleague visiting hospital. Uh, also our civilian colleague uh, conducting a training on human rights and um, one of our military colleagues while on patrol. Uh, the role of a female peacekeeper is also important inside the mission compound. A female's presence itself positively affects the working environment from the psychological point of view. It releases tension, brings peace, mitigates tough living conditions, especially under the lockdown. And uh, these are actually this uh, slide was prepared uh, by assistance of my male colleagues because they were the ones uh, to give me this idea that uh, <clears throat> if not for you, for us, uh, it would be much, much, uh, it would be more difficult to survive under these circumstances. Uh, what has been done by UNIS for female peacekeepers in the implementation of the mandate? <clears throat> female peacekeepers participated in 257 gender patrols, 123 collocations with SGBV focal points, seven big campaigns. One of such campaigns was International Women's Day with the theme Women in Leadership Achieving an Equal Future in a COVID-19 World. And here you can see the picture demonstrating this. And this uh, campaign, uh, especially this year campaign, we tried to do our best <coughs> to cover uh, even remote locations in order not, uh, for the females, for the communities not to feel abandoned. So we organized the this celebration in seven locations. And um, females who were especially active from the local communities uh, got um, uh, the tokens of appreciation as um, backpacks uh, with the theme uh, of the year. Uh, they also participated in 28 meetings with the stakeholders, representatives of the local authorities, um, seven trainings on prevention of sexual and gender-based violence, and three workshops um, for community protection committee members and ample gender officers on trafficking in person and for widows on income generating activities. Um, the thing is that <clears throat> Uh, this year, there were several cases uh, of uh, child trafficking. Uh, that's why uh, we engaged all the agencies with whom we are together to organize this training, which was really appreciated. And uh, as for workshop for widows, uh, also, in spite of this uh, difficult uh, uh, life, uh, difficult life, uh, in spite of all the um, lockdowns, we wanted to support local females. That's why also together with FAO, we organized this uh, workshop for widows on income generating activities. For example, how to make soap, you can see it on the picture. And then um, on poultry, uh, on beekeeping, um, on fishing, um, these are the main spheres 
on what um, we taught uh, the widows. They really appreciated it greatly. Apart from that, um, female peacekeepers participated in 13 induction trainings on human rights and gender integrating in uh, UN peacekeeping operations. Uh, these uh, induction trainings, they were <clears throat> conducted for all uh, the newcomers to UNISFA, uh, including civilian, military, and police components. Under COVID-19, the institution of SGBV, Sexual Gender-Based Violence Desk, was introduced in ABA by the local authorities with the encouragement of UNISFA female peacekeepers. In other locations, SGBV focal points were selected by the members of the communities. Their role is very important under the circumstances of the lockdown. They were trained by UNISFA gender officers. Most of them are females. Now they are also raising an awareness on COVID-19 preventive measures and taking part in early warning system as well. So here you see <clears throat> the first um, member of this SGBV desk, which was opened in ABA. Her name is Atoch. And she is really very, very uh, valid member. And she already herself assisted so much females, especially su suffering from SGBV uh, cases. <clears throat> Our key achievements, uh, owing to the awareness raised and assistance rendered, the number of reported cases, I mean SGBV cases, has been increased which has led to the, to the reducing uh, of the crimes in reality, latent cases. The total number of SGBV cases registered uh, in 2020 is 19. The majority of the crimes were rape cases. They were 13. Nine survivors of the cases were underage. And the total number of SGBV cases registered <clears throat> uh, this year for nine months is already 20. So for nine months, there are already more than for the whole last year. <clears throat> and so as you see, uh, also a lot of victims are underage. There was one gun rape with three perpetrators, <clears throat> one kidnapping, two child trafficking cases, and uh, the survivors from child trafficking cases were boys. And 50% of the cases are reported uh, by SGBV focal points, which I mentioned before, uh, who were selected by the members of the local communities. Also, our key achievement is that female peacekeepers played an important role in preventing the spread of the virus in the detention centers. Thus, uh, due to the ample efforts, out of 1927 people detained, 619 arrested for petty crimes were released, which is 32.1%. Uh, and uh, the arrest uh, was uh, changed into social labor. And here you see on the picture, you can see uh, one of our female corrections officer from Rwanda. <clears throat> and uh, of course, the key achievement uh, is that due to the strong teamwork, UNISFA has managed to proceed with the implementation of the mandate even despite of lockdown. And the female peacekeepers have proved their effectiveness and equal working capacities with male colleagues, especially under the challenge of COVID-19 pandemic. 
thank you for your attention and thank you for uh, this uh, great opportunity uh, to present Russian Federation and uh, UNISFA um, during this forum. <laughs>